Guess who? Guess who I'm back with? Mr. Cleveland's up on me. We're sleeping on this boat tonight. I'm, yeah. sleeping, I'm sleeping in my bed on another boat. This design, pretty much the same, right? We'll see. <laughs> How's it doing? Good. Um, there it is. Got hey, it's just a few things left to do, like the rigging and like the motors it? and keep all the water out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you sound just like me, dude. There's a couple things. I mean, it's almost sales. ready. It's just, it's just like sinking by the day. That's so funny. You know what? I understand. <laughs> Not a lot of us do. I get so much shit on YouTube. It's only like a couple years. Yeah. Nah, you're good, bro. All right, and she's trying to fit everything in a backpack. <laughs> yeah. Don't get angry at it. Hey. <laughs> That was the equivalent of a mic drop. Back, back, back. That makes sense. Are you angry at life or what? <laughs> no, I'm totally fine. Like, what about that photo? That makes me feel right. I just wanted to throw stuff around. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, I'm rubbing off on her. Sell me! What's up guys, so in this video I wanted to take you guys on a little tour of a sister ship of our boat. This one's a little different though because my buddy only paid $5,000 for it, while I paid $65,000. But you're gonna see why. So stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you guys exactly where I found Zingaro and you're not gonna believe where it was. And we're gonna look at a couple of boats in real time to see if we can find anything for sale right now. But before that, let me introduce you to Captain Cleveland. He's a cool cat and you're gonna love him. So thank you for watching, stay tuned. Mash that like button if you dig our content. Much love, guys. Yeah, Captain, looking good, buddy. <laughs> what do you think? It's a cool looking boat. That's the bathroom on his boat. So, where are we with Mr. Cleveland? This is one of my good buddies in San Francisco. He's got the same boat as me. This is, we're inside my boat. And I slept in my berth. But this, this one's outfitted a little different. Is it a Mark I? Two. Mark II. So there's different versions of this boat plan. The guy that built this one built a, a high cabin, cabin top, permanent cabin top, which I really like. It'll be a little more windage, but man, for livability, this is way better. <laughs> livability is that I said it Livability is yeah. It's a, no, shut up. Not. I'm trying to do. I, hey, I'm trying to do something. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. You can butt in. This is going to be a nice. Pillow. Nobody, nobody cares what I say anyway. They just want to see you. These aren't cute. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the outside. It's not painted, so don't judge. Don't. don't. <laughs> It's so when Cleveland first contacted me because he saw that I had a, a spin drift, I think like one of the first videos I put up was the tour of the boat. Yeah. And so he said, hey man, I got the same boat, check it out. And he sent me some pictures and he had, he had been like digging out some foam right here on the corner. That was bad. Look what it turned into. It's like this huge repair. He had to scarf a bunch of stringers and holy crap, dude, you're the man. Thanks, dude. This whole section, when it was built, they filled it with this open cell foam, thinking that it would never see the light of day and it would be, I don't know, I guess, flotation or something, but when the water did touch it, it killed it. It killed everything, it just held the water and killed oh, everything. Oh no! So the deck on the bottom, the deck on the top, all the ribs and shit. I, I haven't been able to do anything until this repair is done because the boat's just not, wasn't structurally sound. Wow, look at that. Holy crap, Two that pieces. is a repair and a half right there, dude. Yeah, I replaced, there's like a cross beam here on the top and the bottom. There's another one here. There's three stringers that go across. And then the ribs here, here, and here all had to be rebuilt and replaced. And then the new and deck. You scarfed them. On. You scarfed all of those. Scarfed it. I sistered an extra one on. You can see down in the bottom yep. there. That there's another one sistered to the yep. side. Yep. I did that too on mine. So what's in here? That's what the engine is. Wood sails, dude. That's what it is. Man. That'd be nice. I wish I had a patch right there. Yeah. It's just wasted space in here, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah this I'd put a asymmetrical spinnaker in this one and a symmetrical spinnaker in the other one. Mm. 
Well, right at the top of the engine's probably not. No, no, that engine's gonna go. Yeah, you can see there's a plate underneath it that just unbolts. So instead of being like perfectly round like that, there's like a little square spot that sticks out. So that's just gonna go straight through. Dude, you you got a forest under your boat. Yeah. Do you ever... need to haul it. Do you ever clean it or no? I haven't cleaned it since I brought it down here. But my buddy is a diver, he's gonna dive it soon. I just figured like I would wait until I haul it out. I don't know, there's so much like ancient alien technology on this boat that I've just been ripping out. Look at this thing, dude. I've never even seen one of these. It's a water alarm. Huh. Crazy. Yeah, yeah he's got those old wire winches. You gotta get rid of those f Well, like They might be this, worth like, something. Behind mast furling system too. This is fun. Right? And it used to go like a wire around here to another one that was mounted there. Some crazy shit. Oh, that is crazy. That's weird. I guess it makes sense for a single hander in the 70s technology. So if you'd like an in-depth comparison of these two boats, please click on the little I symbol at the top right corner. Those are called cards, and we use them to put links in there you guys might be interested in. Our website, Patreon, similar videos you might be interested in. In particular, these two videos are both walkthroughs of Zingaro. One I made right after purchasing the boat, and the other after 10,000 nautical miles. This will give you a good idea of what to expect from a boat that's never been cruised and one that's been cruising for a while. But now, let's dive into the internet and I'll show you the place that I found Zingaro for sale and we'll try to find the best deal on a catamaran right now. Okay guys, let's jump right in. The first place we're gonna look is Cruiser's Forum in the advertisement classifieds there and this is where I found Zingaro. So we're gonna go to cruisersforum.com, we're gonna go to forums and we're gonna go to general, I'm sorry, boat classifieds. Boat classifieds is where you'll find all the boats. General classifieds is where you'll find all the boat equipment. This is one of the best places to find good deals on boats that are cruising boats and that are ready to go and that are taken care of. And it's kind of a crapshoot on these other sites, but on here you'll find some really good stuff. Not to say that every boat is good, just that this is where you can find some really good stuff. Uh, there's a Lagoon 440, owner's version, VAT paid, blue water ready. That would be a great boat if you have a lot of money. Pacific Seacraft 37, great boat. Oh, Tiana version 42, awesome. Let's see how much that Lagoon is. He wants 350,000 euro. That's not that bad. He's outfitted it for blue water. It's got a full enclosure. That's a nice boat if you have some money. It's got a parachute asymmetrical spinnaker. That's pretty cool. Uh, you got to watch out because a lot of these ads are want to buy. Some of them are for sale. Some of them are want to buy. Um, there's a Lagoon 400. I'm trying to find a good catamaran, but it doesn't look like there's many. I had an Islander 28. That was a great boat. Tayana 37. That's another great boat. Tayana 58. Wow. I want to see how much that is. That sounds like a badass boat. Catalina Morgan 38. I would not recommend a Morgan. I had one of those. That it was it sailed like a brick. Um, it was a Lagoon 380. I'm not seeing a lot of cheap catamarans or any actually. Everybody's looking for a cat. Anyway, that's the place I found Zingaro. This is a great place. You're just gonna have to go through here one by one. You uh, you can search also. Uh, if you ever want to use the forums for anything, you can search for, let's just say catamaran for sale. And that'll, that'll bring up all of the forums that have anything having to do with catamaran for sale. So it won't just bring up catamarans for sale, but it'll bring up everything that anybody talks about. And this is a great place to get information. Okay, so we don't have 350 grand, so we're not going to look at this lagoon. This thing's got to be crazy too. Yeah, 335,000. Infinity. That's kind of an interesting boat name. Look at this boat. Wow. More teak on the deck than a forest. I want to see the inside. There we go. That's a cool boat, man. Cool. Pretty. Anyway, those Tayanas, they're, they're real well built. I've seen a lot of them cruising around, and they're pretty. 58, that's a big old boat. All right, so let's let's go to the next site that 
I use. It's called sailboatlistings.com. Now, sailboat listings is just listings for sailboats, so you can search for a boat and put in the parameters that you want. We're going to put 35 to 45 feet. We're going to put hulls, catamaran, and less than 100 grand. Okay? Show matching boats. Uh, the way that this site always works is all your matches are on the left, and all of the featured sailboats that pay for this service are on the right. So we're not going to look over here. We're going to look over here. So it looks like we have some a prout. Um, a lot of the time on this site, if you don't put an asking price, it'll it'll come up in your search results, uh, which is kind of bull, but whatever. That's how they make money. So all of these boats that are look new, they're they're not going to be in your price range. Prout Snow Goose 37 in Granada, uh, Warham Tiki 38 for 20 grand. Let's check that one out. So this thing looks kind of like a wreck. It's uh, it doesn't have a boom. Uh, the mast looks a little messed up. It doesn't have any sails. It looks like it's got a hole in it right here. Um, it doesn't have any decking and it doesn't have a doghouse. It doesn't have a, a cockpit section. Uh, usually with these boats, there's a bar on the back that you that you control the both of the rudders with, or there's steering cables that go underneath the deck. And I'm not seeing any of that actually. So the first picture he has is of the inside. So if the best part of your boat is a bathroom, that's probably not a good sign. It looks like it has good bones though. And it's got the forward deck. And it's missing the entire mid and aft deck. And any place that you could stay out of the sun and weather on top of the boat. So you're going to have to build some kind of doghouse. Now that said, is this a boat where you do not want it, you want to stay away from it at all costs? No. But I think it's not reasonably priced. I had a friend in Panama that got one of these boats uh, for 7000 in about the same state. And he redid the entire deck and put a little doghouse kind of on the side of the forward deck, like right here. And it was just a, a tinned roof with a six-foot bed house that he could sleep in up there. So when it was really hot, he could sleep on the top and, and he routed those steering cables up into this little spot so he could duck into there and still uh, steer the boat. Point being, after he was done, he was into the boat for 15 grand. Uh, this one's 20 grand before you start any other work and who knows what else is wrong with it. You're definitely gonna have to put in some money. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't pay 20 grand for it, but it's in Florida, so that makes it worth a little more. If it were if it were in Guatemala or Panama as, as, as this style boat, I don't think he would be able to get uh, more than ten grand for this. But to each his own. Somebody's going to buy that and make it make it their own project. Uh, you can learn this skill: how to build a doghouse, how to build the decking. It's completely learnable and very available. So don't don't let that put you off. What I would worry about more is the boom and the sails. That's bo both of those are going to cost a lot of money. Let's keep going. We've got another Prout. We've got another Warham Tiki 38 for 55 grand. Privilege 39. That'd be a good boat. We've got some other Prouts. Prout re Reduce Snow Goose Elite from 89. Let's see this one. This is in the Eastern Caribbean. So this is probably like Saint Martin or something. Very well kept example of a blue water sailing catamaran. It's only had two owners. I've owned her since 2013 with one prior. Blah, 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 blah. Let's look at it. Looks pretty. It looks nice. Yeah, this is cool. Very cool. I hope that this converts down into a bed like I said before. This looks like a bed right here. So that would probably be enough. And it's got a little, huh, that's cool, a little seat there. Galley down. And that looks like a nice boat. It's got sails. I like that. The cool thing about these boats is they have little keels instead of dagger boards. So you can beach them pretty easily. And they're protected rudders uh, with a skeg. So that's neat. And he's got a tower in the back, probably made out of stainless. And a bunch of solar panels on it. It looks like uh, six. This outboard has been painted. It looks like a 
Tahatsu or maybe a Yamaha, but it looks like it's been painted bright teal color so nobody would steal it. Not a big deal. I would do that too. You got to look at the hatches. You got to look at the windows. You got to look at the rub rail. Don't let the inside of the boat steer you into per, into falling in love with it. That's the point. You, you got to look at the little things, where the, the water is ingressing, where the cracks are in the gel coat. Is the steering system good? Get back in here, open up this thing, and see what the steering cables look like. But this looks like a cool boat. It's definitely got a comfortable cockpit for one or two people. Uh, it's got a, a windshield and probably a hard top. No, it doesn't really look like it. It looks like it has a Dodger on it and a tower in the back. So what I would do is I'd build a hard top here in between these. But cool, it's, it comes with an asymmetrical spinnaker with a sock, with a, a roller furler jib, and a, probably a batten main. That, that looks like a great boat. That looks like my boat when I bought it. But it's a prout, so it's going to be a little bit different sailing char characteristics. Is that a good good boat? I don't know. I, I don't I don't own a, own a prout. I like having a daggerboard cat, but having keels has its advantages too. It's their keels are a little stronger. When you beach the boat, it's going to handle it a little bit better. Hydraulic steering I don't like. I've had a boat with hydraulic steering. That's uh, I, I had more problems with that then I had good times. I like cables connected, connecting my steering because if that goes out, you're screwed. You don't have any steering. There's no way to steer the boat without some kind of emergency tiller. Uh, it's got a Yanmar 35 horsepower. I wonder if it's got two. 350 watt solar panels. Okay, cool, yeah. So those are actually one piece panels, three, three panels, so that's good. 20 kilogram Delta, 20 kilogram Mantis. You don't need both of those anchors on a catamaran. That's ridiculous. 45 pound Mantis and a 45 pound Delta? No. Sell one of those and get a, a smaller Danforth for a, a backup. Like a Fortress Danforth. That weighs 15 or 25 pounds. So yeah, this is a good one. I like that boat. Let's see what else we can get for 65,000. This is a James Warren Pahi Captain Cook composite catamaran. Well, that one's cool. That one's got a big doghouse on it. A little bit different than the than the Warren we saw before. This one's in Rio Dulce, so that should reflect on the price. Right now, it's February, and you're going to have probably four months to get it out of Rio Dulce, or you're going to be stuck there for the rest of the hurricane season. And it's hard to get a boat out of Rio Dulce. It's right in the armpit of the Caribbean. You have to, you have to sail way far out around and then come down to Panama. And that would be a good option. But that also should reflect in the price, where the boat is, how hard it, it's going to be to get it out of there, and what the condition is. So even if this boat is in mint condition, this price should, should go down a little bit because of the time you're buying it. It's like buying a boat in the winter in Boston. So the whole boat is marine ply and Lynette. Uh, I would prefer to get a boat that was foam cord on on the hulls i don't think i i would really like a uh, really expensive plywood hulled catamaran the resale value on those things is, is tough because a lot of people shy away from a plywood boat it's not to say that they're bad i know people that cruise all around the world on plywood boats i mean i have one too but mine is eric's foam hulled and i ran it out ground one time pretty bad and it survived and it had it been marine ply it would never have survived that i would have lost my boat and for me, I just, I think that that is the better option. But this is a cool boat. Let's go to a couple other places. Reatea Yachts. Reatea Yacht Sales. That is in French Polynesia, in Reatea. Duh. We're going to go to Sailing Boats. They handle all, almost all of the boats that are for sale in French Polynesia and near Tahiti. So there's a lot of boats here. Uh, we're going to go to the multi-hulls, and we're going to go down. It, it's in descending order by price, so we're going to go down to under 100 grand and see what they have for under 100 grand. They have a Katana 40. That's a great boat. A Warham, uh, a aluminum Warham that was for sale when I bought my boat almost three years ago. And an Edelcat, also a cool boat. No, this one's only 40,000. 40, this would be a boat that you'd probably buy and just leave there if you wanted to cruise in French Polynesia. And it's a 33. It's going to be a little smaller, but 
looks like it fits four at least and it looks set up uh, it's got a stack pack everything looks nice it's got one engine on the back uh, once you sail you don't really need a whole bunch of machine power this one looks cool this one looks cool but it's kind of more of a toy instead of a um, actual world cruising boat so you see how this thing slides on and off if that thing breaks look at that it's molded plastic cool this is a, this is, this is a neat boat definitely not a boat that you'd want to live on forever but a cool toy let's see what else do we got here let's just look at the warham first the warham is i've seen this boat before it's a steel boat it was for sale for a hundred thousand euro when i saw it and it's very well built and it's aluminum so it's going to be very utilitarian it's definitely got uh it doesn't even have a cockpit seat really it's got a uh a hard top with some solar panels on it all the decking's done the interior is great one thing i would do is i would get i would turn this into a convertible so it turned into one big bed and i'd get rid of the all this stuff here and i'd put it somewhere else maybe right here so you can access it while the cover of your bed is on and then inside is real nice you know but this thing's been there and been for sale for years so there must be something wrong with it um let's look at the katana now the reason i, w I waited till last for this katana is i know the guy that's got a bit on it right now so i think it's probably gone this is one of the early lock crowther design katanas and uh wow very cool I'm not digging the back aft steps too much, but uh, th at least they're there. That's that's really neat. It's got a nice rig on it. Uh, that's the galley looking f from the salon aft. It's got a chart table. It's got the 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 saloon looks really nice. It's not convertible, which I would probably change that out. I I would have I would take this out and. Uh, make something that can convert down into a bed like I've said with every boat Just because I really like that feature and this is going to be the hull uh, one thing to watch out for on the, on this style boat is Watch out for the hatches because they're going to be really old um, the windows uh, A lot of things are going to need rebedding where the mast goes through the deck um you're gonna have to watch out for, oh, there's the engines. So it looks like he's got a, maybe a Volvo Penta engine in there. So it's got two big old engines in it. Hopefully they're Yanmars. And he's got prop drives, that's good. So I, I don't really like sail drives, I can't tell. Maybe it is a sail drive. I can't really tell from this picture. But the boat looks great and that's, that's a great, really nicely designed boat. Uh, it's going to be fast. It's going to have a, the rig is a diamond rig. So he doesn't have to worry about those backstays the same as I do. So it's got a newer rig on it than mine. That, that would be super nice. And then he's got three berths and the saloon is U-shaped. That's cool. He's got those drawings of it. Looks like it's a French flagged boat. So you're going to have to have, you're going to go through a little crap with that. But yeah that's a great boat i'd say between this one and that uh that other boat we saw on sail sailboat listings those are the two boats that are the best deals right now so lastly a couple other sites san carlos yacht sales is a is a cool one i look on there a lot you can find good deals on there from americans that have come down into the sea of cortez and just left the boat because they didn't want to bash back up because that's a pretty crazy ride going back against the the current if you've ever made that ride you'll know uh why people come down here and they just leave their boats so you can get really nice boats down here for nothing like right now this i've seen this boat already and i put a link on the, on facebook to this boat just because yes they're asking 70 grand for it but it also says bring your offer she needs to go quickly so that means you can probably get into this boat for 35 grand. And that is a wonderful boat. Tayana are great, great boats. I see them cruising all the time. They're strong. They're, they're usually built very, very well. And if they've been taken care of like this boat probably has, uh, that would be a really nice one. That is a cool boat. 
Not a huge fan of the black hull. I think that's a stupid color for a boat. But these Tayanas are great. All right, guys, I hope that gave you a, a good idea of where to go and how to look for a boat and the different types of things you should look for. If you've got any questions, please email me. I, I would be glad to help you out. If you'd like to support us, you can support us here at patreon.com slash svzingaro. In the next episode, we're going to be going from the States back to the boat with Cleveland, and we're going to get into some boat repairs, and we're going to sail all around and go spearfishing and diving and uh, we're in a really cool spot right now, so that'll be a fun episode. Don't forget to hit like if you liked the video, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to be notified when new videos of ours come out. All right, much love. See you later.